Hello everybody, I want to show you with this video 10 first things to do for the POCO X4 Pro 5G. Okay, the first thing I want to show you is uh, you can hide apps with the phone. For that, just go here to the app drawer and there's a hidden app area. So if you swipe in from the left two times, then you will have this hidden app area. Okay, first of all, you have to set a password. And for that, you have always to enable the fingerprint sensor. Um, Okay, now you can um, choose a pattern. Maybe let's choose a simple one like this. I have to draw it now for the second time. So please choose your own one and go on OK. And now you can add some apps here to this hidden app area. May uh, let's choose uh, Facebook if no one should know that we have Facebook and maybe the Chrome browser. And then just go here on OK. Confirm. And now I have here the hidden apps, Chrome and Facebook. So if I go back now to the main app drawer, I have no more Facebook here or Chrome. So just if I go to my hidden app area, like this, so as you can see, it requires a bit training. You can always enter it with your fingerprint or with your pattern code. And only here I have access to Chrome and Facebook. By the way, whenever you want to add some more apps, just go here on the um, pen no, to edit some stuff and then you can add also other apps here to this area. Yeah, the next thing I want to show you is you can make the phone a bit faster because always if you open an app, um, let me open here the Play Store, you see a little animation, no? it zooms out and if I close it, it zooms in. One more time, I open it, it zooms out, I close it, it zooms in. But uh, you can remove these animations and make the phone much quicker with. So let me show you what I mean. So for that, just scroll down here right next to the camera, scroll down right next to the camera, and then you will have here the control center. And here we have always the symbol for the settings. So wherever your settings app is, the settings symbol will be always there. And um, then you need to scroll down now to the point additional settings. And here we need this point, accessibility. And here we have the point, vision. So tap here on vision. And here we have the point, remove animations. Okay. So, the dirt here. Uh, so remove animations. Okay. So if I open now, the place door is immediately there. If I close it, it's immediately gone. Open, immediately there, close it, immediately again. Okay, let us compare. I will uh, make it now with animation so that you can compare it better. Open, close. You can see it feels much slower right now eh, with these animations. But if you're removing these animations, um, then it's always quicker. And by the way, it gives also a performance boost because the phone doesn't have to concentrate for the animations and so on. So it feels faster and it is faster. And you can add also a sidebar here, what is very useful if you want to use your phone with one hand. Uh, for that, also just go to the settings like this. Huh? And then we need to go to the point special features. And here we have the point sidebar. So, and if we turn it on here and always show, it will appear here the sidebar. Okay, and whenever I swipe it in, I have now quick access here to my favorite apps. So it's now on the left here, so this is very well if you're left-handed, uh, because then you have quick access here. But uh, most of the people are right-handed, so I would recommend them to you if you're right-handed to put it on the other side. Right here, toolbox position, tap here, and then you can go here on the right, and then it is here on this, also on the other side, and you have the quick access to your favorite apps. And uh, there's something to support this feature, a one-handed mode, because the phone is very large and so on. You can make a mini screen also as well. So let me show you what I mean. So just scroll down here, scroll to the symbol for the settings, and then go to the point additional settings. And here we have the point one-handed mode. And if we enable this one-handed mode, we can have a mini screen. If we scroll down now from the center to the outside, like this at the navigation bar, we will have a mini screen. And now 
Oh, I have, again, the left-handed thing. Then I have full access here. Uh, I can play also games and so on here on this uh, mini screen and so on and so on. And um, if I want to quit, I just tap here on the black field and I'm back in the regular mode. And pretty cool is also, if you've seen, um, the, the outside is uh, uh, black and that uh, saves also energy, by the way, yeah? because the phone has AMOLED screen. Okay, and if you want to have it for right-handed people, just swipe to the arrow here, no? from the inside to the arrow, no? like this, and it's now on the other side for right-handed people. No? So a very nice mode if you have just uh, if you can use your phone at the moment just with one hand. And as I've said, uh, in the the outside here has been bla black, um, and that saves energy, huh? And Especially for the evening, you can uh, enter, uh, you can enable also something uh, what saves energy and is also, um, yeah, is also uh, better for your eyes, uh, especially in the evening. Because uh, if you're watching on your smartphone, if you're looking on a smartphone in the evening and everything is dark around you and you have a very bright screen uh, with a white background and so on, that disturbs your eyes and um, you can turn it into black so you can turn it into a dark mode let me show you how you can enter this so just go here to the settings again and then go to the point display and here we have the point dark mode huh? and as you can see everything was what was white before is turning into dark now and uh, everything what is black now it's saving energy as well huh? and it's also better for your eyes in the evening. On the day it's a bit critical and the day I would recommend to you to have the uh, regular light mode um, because if there's a lot of sunlight uh, and so on you cannot see very well your screen. And uh, because of that I would recommend to you and this, this is the reason why it's part of this video here you could you or you should chat through the dark mode. No? John, chat through dark mode, enable it and then set it up from sunset to sunrise. And that means whenever the sun um, set, the dark mode will turn on and if the sun rises in the morning, the dark mode will turn off and you have the regular light mode. And also pretty, pretty cool for the evening is um, a blue light filter because um, it reduces also the stress for the eyes because we're looking too much on our smartphone and so on. And that is called here the blue light filter reading mode at POCO. So just tap here on reading mode. So, and if I enable it, you see that the um, phone, also that the screen is changing into a yellow color a bit. And if you go here on classic again, uh, so classic is the best one, then you can change also the, co the color temperature. And as more warm the color temperature is, as lower blue light you have here on the phone, and it, as better it is for your eyes. Um, I would recommend to you, by the way, to use it also on the day, because also on a day you are looking on your smartphone, but at latest on the evening you should have it because it will affect also your sleep. Yeah? So just go back here. And if you want to have it only at the evening, at latest at the evening, I really recommend this to you to have it at latest at the evening. Chat you it here as well. And the same thing also here with the sunset to sunrise is named Good nights, read, and then whenever the phone, uh, whenever the sun sets and so on, it will turn on and will turn off automatically in the morning. Also pretty cool uh, for the eyes, uh, of course, is the text size, because if it's too small, it's also a bit difficult to read everything well and so on. Um, you should increase it if you have problems already with your eyes. So just go here on text size, it's also on the display settings here. Here the basic settings is S, uh, but if I go here on L, it is also uh, good, you know. Uh, it uh, doesn't matter. Uh, if you want, you can make it also a bit bigger and so on. But uh, you should um, take care because this affects everything. Uh, you see everything is very big now and also it affects you also the notification and you cannot read everything again here uh, if you want to have the first words of messages and so on. So I would recommend to you to take the L because then you have um, a bit, it's a bit bigger then and you see uh, a bit more at the notification and so on. Okay, and uh, another tool for the eyes 
is the refreshing rate. We will have it also here at the settings and at the display settings. And this refreshing rate, as you will have the text size, and this refreshing rate is, um, yeah, the display looks more smooth and so on. If you put it on 120 hertz, um, the default settings are 60 hertz, but the phone supports 120 hertz. May have seen it at commercials and so on. The phone supports 120 hertz, uh, but it takes a lot of energy and um, you should uh, use it only if you, uh, yeah, if you know that you look a lot of in a smartphone and that you have a lot of stuff moving and so on. If you're watching uh, movies or, or some things or playing games and so on, this mode could help you. Uh, but whenever you read just text and so on, uh, I would recommend to you to take the standard size because that saves energy and we should think about our planet. And we had the point energy uh, before also, and uh, there's something I would really also to uh, recommend to you because uh, there's a way to turn off the phone automatically with this uh, chat shoot mode we have learned already at the blue light filter and the dark mode. So, and uh, with this chat shoot mode, you can turn off your phone uh, at a certain time in the evening and turn it on if you want also automatically in the morning because to be honest, we don't need our smartphone if you're sleeping. Okay, let me show you how you can do that. So for that, we need the point security. So this uh, green symbol here with a flash in it, security. And then we will need here the point battery. By the way, you have a nice overview here for your battery, uh, what is taking the most energy, and as you can see, it is taking the screen. So if you're reading something and so on, it is taking always the most energy. So enable the dark mode in the evening, as we have learned. And um, to schedule the power on and off and so on, you have to go here now on the top of the security battery mode on battery. So here we have the point scheduled power on off. And now we can set up a power off time is most important because we have normally uh, during the week um, uh, yeah, always the same time normally. So set up the power off time and you can set up also when it should repeat if it's uh, every day or just on weekdays or you can customize it also if you have uh, if you're working maybe on the weekend or something like this. Huh? So um, pretty cool and you can turn it on also uh, automatically if you want in the morning maybe if your um, alarm rings then maybe two minutes later the phone is turning on or something like this or at the same time whatever you want and you can also set up here the repeating time so a very nice mode to save energy and also um, it gives you maybe a better sleep because if your phone is turned off then you don't look maybe in the night always on your smartphone. Think about it. And the last mode I want to show you is uh, for the camera because uh, if you want to take a picture you have always to look for the camera app and so on and uh, that takes time and uh, may you miss something great. Uh, so there's a way to quick launch the camera but you have to set it up first. So for that just scroll down here, go to the symbol for the settings as you know already. And then we need to go to the point additional settings. You see with a bigger text size it's much more easy to recognize. Huh? You don't have to feel ashamed of it. And uh, then go to the point gesture shortcuts. And here we have the point launch camera. So and I would recommend to you to enable the first one. Double press the power button. So let's test. So whenever I tap now, twice the power button, I'm immediately at the camera without missing time. Also, if I'm in another app or something like this, I just double tap the power button and I am having the camera. And uh, what is pretty, pretty cool is this works also if the phone is in standby mode. So also if I double press now the power button, I'm also immediately at the camera without missing time, but looking for the camera, unlocking the screen and so on, you know, the things and uh, yeah. And may you have a great picture with Yeah, we are already at the end. I hope uh, you enjoyed this video and I could show you something new here for your phone. And uh, yeah, may if you want, you can leave me a nice comment or give me a thumbs up. That would be very great uh, for my channel and so on and very great for this video. Thank you so, so much for your support. And um, 
yeah, may you can have also a look on one of my other videos. I will do some more tips and tricks videos and so on. Uh, or you can also subscribe me to don't miss a new video. Uh, thank you so, so much for all your support. And uh, yeah, maybe until next time. <laughs> Ciao.